What's up, Facebook Live? Just coming to you real short and simple and sweet with what I feel is uh, the secret to a lot of our success. Um, and I hope that this comes to you at the right time. So it's April, you know. Funny how April carries this April Fool's Day, you know. So a lot of us are calling it April Fuel's Day. So this would be April Fuel's Day too. Um, but it's it's Monday, you know. Monday's a great great day because it's the first day of the of the of the week, and um, you know it's a great time to like kind of reassess things. You know, whatever whatever happened in March and whatever you accomplished or didn't accomplish, um, you know that's in March. You know, so we always say cut the string from your past. Your past no longer serves you, um, and your future's a mystery. So let go of that idea too. So just today. Um, I want to talk to you about this idea of kind of like refocusing, recalculating, and reconnecting. Um, setting goals, really, really important, right? Um, Henry Ford says, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. So I think a lot of people understand that. Um, I know that when we look at that herd mentality, um, a lot of people, hey, good morning, Brooke. What's up? Great morning, maybe even. What's up, Jacqueline? So anyway... Funny how I always raise my voice when I say hi to you, right? Uh, so the herd mentality, for the most part, doesn't even set goals, right? And why should they? You know, they've never worked in the past. So setting goals is, is really, really important. So we have this small portion, like maybe, I don't know, 10% of people set goals. Um, and then we have this small portion of people that actually get goals. So I want to talk about the goal setters and the goal getters right now. So if you have goals set for your physical health, you know, one of the things that you want to look at is, are you zeroed in on them? Like, do you, could you write your goals for April down right now? And if you do write your goals down, you know, how realistic are they? You know, sometimes we set goals that are a little bit out of reach for, you know, the current reality that you're in. Um, I was always taught be, do, have, you know, like we always want to have something. I was taught that by the great mentor, Larry Markson. Um, and I know that, I don't know if it was actually his, but he taught me that. But basically what he says in that statement is everybody wants to have, you know, the same things. We all want to have, right? Um, you can ask people, what do you want to have? And they'll say this. Um, but what that statement says is be, do, have. You have to be the right person. Um, in eight, to be able to do the things that you want to have. So there's so many th nuggets in there. Um, but right now, do you even know what it is that you want to have? Um, and I love what Tony Robbins says, you know, as far as, you know, what it takes to get things. He says, when your wants and needs change into musts, that's typically when we step on the dance floor. So, but if you know what you want to have, that's how, that's that's a goal, right? So if you're a goal setter, that means that you're, you're in this place where you know what you want. Um, but when it comes to refocusing, recalculating, I, I love to, to use the analogy of GPS. So if I'm on my way somewhere, you know, in life, the analogy is very often I get off course, right? I don't know. I mean, today it's snowing, so you could like slide off the road or miss your turn or something like that. But if you've got your GPS set up, what does it do? It says recalculate. Good morning, Tammy. Maybe even a great morning. I challenge you on that good morning thing. But GPS will always recalculate. So you can do the same thing. So that's why it's important to cut the string from, uh, from last month and look forward once again, but in the present moment, um, recognize that you can recalculate, you know? And what I really wanna offer you today about that refocus and recalculate is the, the idea of reconnecting. So sometimes um, we, we get caught up in this idea of, you know, like we have our goals set, but we stray off path. And sometimes when we stray off path, that, that stray, you know, lasts a little bit longer than we'd like. So the idea of reconnecting is what I want to offer you today, is reconnecting not just with what you want, but why you want it. Um, I find that when I'm, when I'm working with my clients and coaches and anybody that I'm working with that's goal-oriented, and remember, that's just that small percentage of people. And for all of you that are in the herd, you, you're welcome any day, like right now, to just jump, at, jump into the idea of setting goals. Like, actually, you can do that. Um, nobody's holding you back, except maybe you. But uh, I find that when people stray off path, 
um, and maybe you know eat something off their program, skip their gym, or skip some high leverage activities that they had set as things to support their goals. Um, it's not that they're off path. It's just in that moment when they chose to do something that was against or did not support their goals, um, they forgot about their why. So in those moments, our why not becomes stronger than our why, right? So what do you do to recalculate? Um, what's up, Kenneth? So what all we have to do is in that moment is reconnect. This is how your GPS works. Reconnect why you did it. It's not enough to know what, um, what you want. It's really important to know why. So I always you know, talk about this idea of putting up your dukes. You gotta know what you want and why, and that's how you'll get through the tough times. That's how you get up in the morning. And by the way, getting up early in the morning is probably one of the most valuable things I've ever learned how to do um, because it just proves to the universe that you mean business. So that's all I wanna say today is, is, is the, the golden nugget is reconnect. Reconnect with not just what you want, as you look at your April goals, but reconnect why you want it. What's the value of it? Um, the great Dan Bell, one of my mentors says, um, when the value of what you want is high enough, the facts no longer matter. So if the facts, your why not, right? What you think is possible is taking you off path, you know, just go back and recreate the value, you know, reconnect to your family, your kids, the things that matter most, the things that you really want. And once you get in that pocket, and you've reestablished the why behind the what, the value, recalculate, you're right back on, on, on task. And then what do you do once you're right back on task? Remember that, you know, grow stronger, just like a broken bone, because that, that stuff happens all the time. And the next time maybe you're confronted with something that takes you off path, all you have to do, right, you're going towards your what, <clears throat> is pull up your other duke, your why, and you'll get through it. And then the last thing I'll say on that is don't do it alone. You can't do it alone. Um, meaning you need support. You need to be in an environment where you can thrive, but also take people with you. If you're not taking people with you, you're going to miss out on one of the most valuable ideas that I've ever learned. And that is that human beings, it's never enough for us to go forward for ourselves because we got so much junk in the six inches between our ears sometimes. And, you know, the, the thumb sucking that we do and we get affected by, you know, as a victim in life. But if other people, your family, your friends, your kids, you know, your clients, anything like that, when you have that stuff with you, man, we always rise up, right? I get out of bed any day. I don't care how I feel. Cut my leg off, like just like the, the Black Knight in, the, in, the, uh, in King Arthur, you know, just a flesh wound when it has to do with the things that matter most. So love and appreciate you. You know, this is my Mindful Monday. I always record these and put them on my YouTube and I send them out to all my, my clients. Um, amazing month ahead of us, right, as human beings. And uh, just remember, what, this is a gift. This, is, this time that we have right here is a gift. Don't waste it, you know. Don't spend 90% of your life working. Go out and do the things that you're working for. Do them now and improve your life and watch how everything grows. Love and appreciate you.